Echocardiography is almost certainly the most widely used cardiac imaging tool. It's portable, it can be used at the bedside, and of course it's very cheap. But one of the problems with echoes are that a number of the studies are non-diagnostic. The image quality is not good enough. And that's where contrast echocardiography and the use of ultrasound contrast agents has made such a dramatic difference to the practice of echo, certainly in my lab in London. We use contrast echo, I would say, in probably 80 to 90 percent of our stress echocardiography studies. Stress echo is a technique which is widely used for the diagnosis of coronary artery disease and the assessment of patients with chest pain, and it's critical during this test that we see how the heart responds to stress in a lot of detail, and we rely heavily upon contrast to enable us to do that. Another area where we're finding it very, very important is in patients who've had heart attacks, because about 12 to 15 percent of patients who have heart attacks will have blood clots forming in their left ventricle. That's the main pumping chamber. And of course, when a blood clot forms there, it puts them at high risk of things like having a stroke. So it's really important to make the diagnosis of blood clots within the heart, because if it's present, a patient will need to be put on blood thinning tablets. But on the other hand, you don't want to put them on blood thinning tablets if they don't need it, because that might also put them at a risk of stroke. And in our experience, we use contrast echo in approximately 30% of patients when we're doing evaluating for the presence of thrombus. So without contrast, we couldn't make that diagnosis. And I would say that probably 70% of the studies that we look at where we can't determine whether this, this thrombus is present or not, contrast is used to make that diagnosis and it helps to determine whether the patient does have a clot in the ventricle or it doesn't. And of course that really has a significant impact upon how we manage these patients in the future and reducing their risk of having a stroke in the future following that heart attack. Contrast echocardiography of course competes with other cardiac imaging modalities uh, such as nuclear techniques of SPECT um, and MR and, and PET. And when we look at all these different methods that we have for making a cardiac diagnosis, we have to weigh up whether they're safe, whether they're better and more accurate, and of course cost comes into it as well. And if you look at those important parameters, in most cardiac diagnoses, contrast echo actually wins out. It is safe. The instance of adverse events when you need to perform contrast echocardiography is lower than when contrast agents are used for other imaging modalities. It's very accurate. We know in a number of studies where contrast echo has been compared to other imaging modalities, it's at least as good, if not better, in making the diagnosis. And, of course, it doesn't involve the use of ionizing radiation, which is something we really need to be concerned about these days. Reducing radiation is an important factor, and contrast ultrasound is a technique that, of course, uses no radiation whatsoever. And finally, of course, it's a cheaper modality. Ultrasound is very, very cost-effective, especially compared to the other imaging modalities. And so on all three counts, it has become a really important part of our armamentarium for making cardiac diagnoses.